What up, great people? It's the country CEO back in the house. Man, look, it's that Monday morning manner. Monday morning manner, man. Look, I got to give it to you. I gave you some word yesterday, but Monday mornings is typically the morning for that manner. Can't never get enough of the word, right? But I got some word and I got some just good old fashioned common sense Solomon type wisdom for you, right? Look, welcome back to the channel. Subscribe, family, friend. Look, in this world, I've discovered there's givers and there's takers. Number first of all, you got to discover what are you? Are you a giver and a taker? What do you mean by that? Concealer? Are you always the one that's looking to get something or to take something? Are you a kind of person that always looking to offer to, to provide a service or to help people? Are you a giver or a taker? And so after first determining what kind of person you are, it is then that you can determine what kind of people you hang around or hang around you. Trust me, they are either givers or they're takers. They're one, they're one or the other, right? And so takers are always looking for something to gain or to some kind of advantage to achieve or they're going to end up, they, they, uh, they are self-preservationists. If all else fails, they're going to make sure they come out on top. Uh, in actuality, they end up doing themselves in because it causes you to compromise your integrity at some point to stay on top or stay ahead of people. Whereas if you're a giver and being that kind of person as a lifestyle, the Lord going to take care of you. How do you know it? Come to see your seek ye first kingdom of heaven, uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things. What are the things? My needs shall be added unto you. Paul said, God should apply all my needs according to his riches and glory. Christ said, I came that you might have life and life more abundantly. And when you are a giver, God favor shines through your life. I'm a living witness to that. Uh, some people just didn't understand it, man, how favor just continues to abound in my life. I believe it's nothing due to me. I believe it's the wisdom he's given me, the knowledge and understanding he's given me, and the kind of person he made me to always be in a posture of helping people and understanding the principle of to whom much is given, much is required, right? And I'm not talking about resources monetarily, but just responsibility, right? When you've been given great responsibility, then you have to be a good steward over that responsibility, right? And so I try my best to do that. Not perfect by a lean stretch of the imagination, but I understand that if I keep on doing what he would want me to do with what he's given me, then I understand that he'll give me more and provide more. And in the process, favor will abound in my life. Uh, in that same passage I talked to you on yesterday, uh, I quoted you verse number six. He who sows sparingly, sparingly, he who sows bountifully, reaps bountifully. And then it says, uh, God loves a cheerful giver. It talks about the attitude you ought to have in giving. But then that last part talks about when you are a kind of person that sows bountifully, that you will have sufficiency in all things. And it talks about it being always. God's favor will, will be present always. Here's what that, that last verse means. That when you are that kind of person, a giver, man, look, you will have his favor and you will have all sufficiency. Sufficient means what? Enough. But then you'll notice in that passage, it talks about abundance. Abundance is more than enough. Talk boy. In other words, if you are, the, if you are a giver, you will have, you will have sufficient enough. That's taking care of your needs. But then you will be in abundance, which means that's some of the stuff that you want. <laughs> Talk boy. Oh, my goodness. Right. And so it all goes about what kind of giving heart that you have to be uh, obtain that kind of those kinds of blessings and that kind of favor. And watch this. When you sow in into those kinds of things, um, it doesn't always come back monetarily. Good health. Your children being blessed. Uh, uh, favor in this dump truck business for me is that's what I allude to it by giving me more work. Right. Because I've never prayed a prayer of saying, God, give me more money. All I said, well, my prayer has always been, Lord, give me the work. I'll go make the money. Talk Jones. And so think about it like that. What kind of heart do you have? Do you have a giving heart? Because that's what's going to help to bring God's favor in your life on your business. Right? It works, y'all. Test it. Try it. And true, I'm a witness. You want that favor? That's a, uh, you, you want, you want, you want that, that kind of favor that, that goes beyond your natural understanding. That's why one of my prayers, I try to pray on a regular basis. I'm gonna leave you with this. God grant me favor 
that I can't understand. Right? Because when you can't understand it and you can't even put it into your own words of comprehension, that means it's beyond your scope of thinking or anything you could do or nobody else could do. Right? It's divine. Grant me favor, God, that I can't understand. How do you get it? Be a giver. I hope y'all got this. I'm gone.